Nimisha Madhwani is joining us from Uganda. She is one of the Ugandan ambassadors posted in Denmark at the moment. Nimisha, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Julie. It's really nice to that you reached out again. We were in touch when I was High Commissioner of Uganda to India many years ago. And uh, so it's good that these contacts, we continue and we look for yeah, opportunities. Absolutely. So Nimisha, do you want to tell our viewers about your work? First of all, thank you very much for reaching out. And what, I think what's very important in this world this year, coronavirus or COVID-19, as everybody keeps referring to, has been sort of a, an awakening year for, for many people. Introspection, uh, sadness, happiness, families being put together. Some families have really thrived being together. For me, one, uh, it's been wonderful. My mom is aging and I've had seven months with my mother completely alone. No other buddy in the family out of the extended family or whatever. So it's been just very beautiful. You know, it's no, I, and I got locked down because the president, uh, Museveni, took this illness very, very seriously and he locked Uganda. And Denmark fell under category one country. So in terms of being able to look from Uganda outwards, it was very good to see that opportunities for Indians, for people in the entrepreneurial world, opportunities in Uganda for sports, for education, for medicine, for people interested in the legal profession, because you have to now look at doing things differently, the oil and gas, opportunities in agriculture, processing. Yeah. And for example, the friendship, you know, when I was in India as High Commissioner, they, we developed by taking when uh, Sri Narendra Bhai Modi was Chief Minister of Gujarat at the right. time, and he came to uh, Uganda. And President Museveni uh, called him in March to help Uganda so that we could start making our own coronavirus medicine and got uh, hydroxychloroquine okay. from, from that friendship. So, okay. And then he came later as a Prime Minister. So you can see the dynamics. Yes, yes, absolutely. So Nimisha, I know you've tra traveled the world as, you know, being in various embassies and high commissions overseas. So any memorable experiences you want to share with our audience? First of all, I think it's just an honor um, to, to work, uh, to have been appointed by President Museveni, who is one of the real leaders in Africa and in the global space. I'm the first and only Gujarati a woman in Africa to be appointed to represent my country that shows that there's no sectarianism, caste, color, or creed is irrelevant. You're, if you're a citizen of the country, uh, you're a citizen of the country. So I'm, I'm representing my country as the citizen of Uganda. So I think that that is, is a big, big, you know, way forward. And then after his appointment of me, many other people and in the world started appointing, you know, people from, from the diaspora, which is Indian diaspora, which is, which is really wonderful. And also in Uganda, then we got an Ismaili, then we got a Ishnashri, you know, who started participating. And, and a Dutch lady who is a Ugandan, so she's white and blonde, but she's Ugandan. So, you know, it's, it's great. So it shows the leadership. Memorable moments, I think one of the most memorable moments relevant uh, was that we got CII to come from Davos, Confederation of India's industry. They diverted their plans from Kenya to come to look at the business opportunities in Uganda in uh, 1995, which uh, you know was, was great. And then to get Prime Minister Modi, then my own servings when I was in Washington to have uh, the honor uh, to welcome President Clinton to Uganda. I mean, these were just, just unheard of. You know, it shows the opportunities and investment opportunities and tourism opportunities in Uganda, that all these exposures by people like President Clinton coming to Uganda, Prime Minister Modi, uh, high level delegations brought so much confidence in investment in Uganda. So opportunities for investment and returns on investment are about 30%. Oh, fantastic. So, Nimisha, what, how would you describe your strengths? We are talking about you as an individual. So, what are your strengths? My strength is I have a wonderful family. Oh, um, yes. Very supportive. You know, being a Gujarati and a girl, you're normally like, oh, Gujarati che. No, you know, she should not be working. But wonderful. 
So that's big, big, you know, my mother being, of course, a Rajput Gujarati. So she's a very strong woman. My father being an entrepreneur and the family being entrepreneurs and being in Uganda for 100 years. And then, of course, the president and the government of Uganda recognizing. So those those are give you a, a lot of strength to do to do what you want to do. So what's your goal in life? In I mean, where do you see yourself in another five years? You know, it's interesting. I think I can be a go-to person in uh, Uganda for the region, for business opportunities and tourism opportunities, because once I may not be in the service, I will still continue to being an ambassador of Uganda for business promotion. So, people, you know, the, the world has to look at Africa. Africa is the continent that was there before, but people are now looking for areas monies are changing the brexit has taken place indians are looking for places the far east malaysia economies have changed america has made a dramatic change and opportunities in tourism education sports oil and gas sector agriculture processing so I, you know they need somebody here who can hold a hand and you go through somebody who you also trust to be able to say okay interested in um, investing in the country to solar power so how do we go about getting the licenses where can we do the solar do we manufacture the panels or can we import them what will be the business opportunity so so i think i think down the line i don't want to just sit around and do nothing i think that that's a complete waste of my childhood the the money my parents spent on educating me and then the work that I've done, and the opportunities that I've been given and the contacts that we've made and then their contacts to bring in more contacts, just the way you and I have just kept in touch. Or right. you have actually been the galvanizer. So thank you so much for taking out time to giving me this interview. It is wonderful to reconnect and talk to you about opportunities in Uganda. And I'm sure that people, Indian entrepreneurs watching this would love to you know, explore the region. So thank you yes, so much. Yes, I think it's not just for Uganda because don't forget we also have a market space here. So it'll be the East Africa community. Right. So, you know, and and you know Uganda is about the size of uh, Gujarat. Right. Gujarat. So Uganda is about the size of Gujarat. Our population is about 45 million. Your Gujarat's population is about 70 million. So yeah. you can see development there and the cross the, the, the cross uh, sectorial opportunities are, are, are fantastic just just for those two i mean so you meant you multiply it and it'd be huge yeah fantastic so thank you so much nimisha if you're viewing my channel for the first time we have amazing women like nimisha on this platform on a regular basis so do subscribe to my channel thank you so much nimisha thank you julie